Hello and welcome to my new video. For all the subscribers and people that have watched my videos before, thank you for coming back. If you're new to the channel, thank you for clicking on the video. Hope you enjoy it. If you do, remember to click that subscription button or click it right now. Click the notifications bell and you can stay updated with my videos and give us a thumbs up if you do like it. But today uh, we've got a full workout which I'm going to do at the end. I um, just want to talk to you for a couple of minutes. So either you're looking at joining the army or you're, you've joined the army but um, as a lot of people may know, um, phase one establishments have actually closed so there is no uh, training going on for any recruits and I think it's the same for phase two as well. So what, what that also means as well is if you pass election um, and you, you've added your start date, that has now been postponed, uh, you still need to train. You know, speaking to a few people, they've started training, they're not even a week in, and you know, they're back home already, which is really devastating because, you know, you just started your career, but then with what's going on, you know, people are dying and people are ill, so obviously, it doesn't really matter but what, what the important thing is is you still need to train yes just because you pass election um, and you've got into the army yes you are you you have got into the army doesn't mean you can just slack off now and go yeah i'm in when i get to phase one i'll just pick up uh, where i left off no you need to keep fit think of like phase one especially the first week as like your interview um as if you're going for a job because you get reported on um, throughout your training you may turn up prepared you may have all the correct kit you might be you know switched on but if you fail the fitness in test not in test assessments because you are going to do um, some training after you've had your medicals and stuff you know if you're, if you're struggling on them because you've just gone oh sack it coronavirus is going on sit at home with my finger up my ass um, you know you can't do that you need to, you need to stay fit and the people I've spoke to, that's what they're doing. They're looking at training, which is good, um, really good to hear. But I'm sure some of you are most probably at home, and I hope you clicked on this video. You must be like, ah, oh, bit of time off. You know, I'll just make the most. That no, you need to train not every day, but a good amount of times a day. You've got no equipment. There are body weight um, circuits you can do, which I'm going to do again today, and I've done in my previous video. Uh, today there is one bit of equipment, but you can just find something around the house. Get out running. Just get out walking, do press ups here, there, every day, you know, pull ups, go and buy yourself a pull up bar, get on Amazon or some sort of website because there's still deliveries going on. Buy yourself some resistance bands, I've got loads here. Um, resistance bands, get yourself some kettlebells, you can pick them up pretty cheap, you know, some cheap dumbbells or something like that and keep yourself active, okay? You've got your career now, you've got your job, you don't want to be rocking up, think, oh yeah, this has been going on, I'm just going to take the time to chill out. So that's what I wanted to talk to you. Uh, before we get into the workout. So please, 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 if you're in the army now and your training's been sapped off, postponed, then please continue to train. And the people I've spoke to, they have, um, and they are looking at training, but you know, just hopefully you all do that. So today's uh, workout then is, it's gonna be 35 seconds on, 15 seconds off. So we've got high knees, so getting a bit of cardio in. We've got the broad jump, and then we're gonna go into um, single leg hops so we're trying to work on our explosive power now um, i'm sure the majority of you know that broad jump is now within the soldier conditioner review so we're going to be working on that so you can improve your score do a bit of leg raises um, for the core and trunk some diamond press ups get the triceps uh, working a little bit of chest but mainly triceps uh, mountain climbers once again more cardio and core work okay and then planks it's quite cardio based um, sorry, I forgot the last exercise, ground to overhead with the dumbbell. So I've got the dumbbell here, um, but you can do it with anything at home. If you've got a kettlebell, find a big bottle of water, two litre bottle of water. Um, if you want to get like a little rucksack, you can mostly do it with that, put a little bit of weight in that. Um, just anything to add a bit of resistance, okay? Get, get, you get your body moving, keep yourself moving while like all the gyms are closed and you're limited going out to parks and stuff like that. So what we're going to do then is we're going to get into the workout. So getting into the workout then, starting off with high knees, then we're going to be moving into the broad jumps, single leg hops, leg raises, diamond press ups, mountain climbers, plank, ground to overhead, 35 seconds on, 15 seconds off, three rounds. So 
Let's get started then. Starting off with high knees. Okay, just before we start actually, ensure that you've done your warm up. I've done my warm up. Eight to 10 minutes good warm up. Get the heart rate um, raised. Okay, get some mobility in. Some dynamic stretches, okay, before you start this. So let's get into it, high knees. Start in four, three, two, one, and go. Just make sure that's it, keep going. Just wanna make sure my beep is going. Let's go, get those knees nice and high. That's it, knees nice and high, pump the arms. So you've got about 10 seconds left. So yeah, keep going, pump the knees, pump the arms. Okay, 15 seconds rest, we're gonna move on to the board jump. This is all about correct form, no need to rush all you're gonna do is just two foot jump, two foot landing, turn around, and then just repeat. So let's go. So bend your knees when you land, Take a shock out of your legs. Really explode forward. Okay, try and land double footed. So you're not stepping forward or anything like that. So you work for the full 35 seconds. See so a few more seconds. Okay, single leg hop. So you're just gonna jump forward and then switch legs, jump back. Okay, remember to bend your knees when you land. Take on water throughout if you need to. That's it, let's go. Okay, really bend those knees when you land. Take the shock out of your leg. Really try and explode forward. And rest there. Okay, next then is leg raises. So try and keep your feet off the floor as you do it. Okay, then bring them up all the way to a 90 degree angle. Keep your core tight, nice and controlled, legs straight. So keep working. Well done. So 15 seconds rest, and we're getting into diamond press ups. So try and make a diamond with your hand if you can. If not, just bring them out. Elbows in nice and tight. Really work on your triceps and not the chest. You need to start off on your knees or Start off on your feet and then drop to your knees. That's perfectly fine. Try and get really low, chest to floor, fully extend up, full range of movement. See so it, keep going. Body straight, core tight. So 15 seconds rest there, and then we're going into mountain climbers. Once again, keeping your body straight, core tight, knees up to your chest, bringing your feet off the floor. So keep going, you need to rest 
Shake yourself off and straight back into it. So keep going. A couple more seconds. Rest there, 15 seconds rest. I'm gonna go into the plank. A few more seconds. And let's go. So keep holding it, keep your body straight, core engaged, you feel like your back's going slightly, shake yourself off, and then just pop back into it. Try not to lose form, you want to maintain a good form as possible. Rest there, last exercise this round then. Ground type head, keeping your back straight, bend the knees down, press up, down, press up, switch your arms. See it, shoulders back, press up, down, foot down. I see it, ground to overhead. 35 seconds work. See it, come on. Rest there. 15 seconds rest, we're going into round two, high knees. Let's go. And let's go, high knees. Sit, knees nice and high. Pump the arms, pump the legs. Keep going. Rest there, get into your broad jumps now. Make the most of this rest. And let's go. Double foot take off, double foot landing. So really explode forward. Try and keep going for a full 35 seconds. Sit rest there, go into our single leg hops. Let's go. You really struggle to do that. Just single leg hop, double foot landed, just nice and gentle, just to get yourself used to it, get yourself working. Okay, 15 seconds rest, we're going into leg raises. Let's go. So try and keep your legs as straight as possible. All the way down to six inches off the floor, up to about a 90 degree angle. That's it, good. So just before 90 degrees, stop there, 
Good, leg straight. Good, and rest there. Okay, diamond press ups. Once again, if you need to do them on your knees, do them on your knees. Let's go. All the way down, all the way up. Once again, if you need to rest, you can either drop to your knees, shake your arms off, or stay in the press up position. Just raise your bum up slightly, back down, back into it. Or drop to your knees, and do it that way. Whatever way you want, whatever way you can get the best quality form. Okay, mountain climbers. Let's go. Let's work hard. So keep going. Oh, you need to rest. Then rest. If not, just keep going. Try and keep going if you can. Rest there. Plank next. Woo. Take on some water if you need to. Five more seconds rest. Go into the plank. Let's go. Once again, if you feel your back going, you're losing form, please rest. And then go back into it. Don't start doing this. Really bad for your back. Don't cheat. Yeah, yeah. Nice flat, stable position. If you do this, then just rest. If you're really struggling to do it, just drop to your knees and just hold yourself out. Keep your core braced, keep it engaged, and you should still be able to feel it. Okay, 15 seconds rest. Grant it overhead. The last of this round. Said you don't have to use dumbbells wherever you can find around the house. Let's go! Or wherever you've got in the garage, that's where I'm training. So you keep going. Good effort. So just put out two on the side. Back to the beginning of the last round for high knees. Woo. Let's go. That's it, let's work hard, let's keep going. Okay, cool, 15 seconds rest. Remember it's the last round, we're going into broad jumps. Sweaty. And let's start. See, so keep working.
Rest there, okay, we're getting into leg raises now. Sorry, we're getting into single leg hops. A few more seconds rest. Let's go. Once again, if you need to, little jump, double foot landing. Don't jump, double foot landing. Doesn't have to be very explosive in a minute. If you're not used to the movement, okay? Slightly larger because it is a lot of pressure. Okay, just a little hop. Just do what you feel like you can do. Okay, now we're going into leg raises. And let's go. So you keep working hard for the full 35 seconds. So well done. Rest there, diamond press ups. Oh, when most this rest, we're nearly done. Halfway. Let's go. All the way down, all the way up. See, keep going. Need to rest, rest. You need to drop to your knees, drop to your knees. Once again, you can rest, you've on your knees, shake off. You need to put your bum in the air, put your bum in the air. So keep going. Rest there. Woo, mountain climbers. Three exercises to go, and we're done. Nearly there. In position then. Let's go. So keep going. Come on, you need to rest. Just drop to your knees. If not, back into it. So keep going. Ten seconds to go. Cool. Next one, go into the plank and then ground to overhead. So get yourself ready. In position, let's go. Once again, if you're struggling to do this, just drop to your knees, lean forward, core tight, back straight. Okay, if you're struggling to do that, get into the extended plank. But as soon as you feel your back do this, stop straight away. So keep holding it well done. One exercise to go after this. See, so last 15 seconds rest. Okay, we're getting to ground to overhead. Last exercise. A few more seconds. Let's go. So work hard. So we're on five seconds to go. 
and rest there. All well done. Cool. That's the workout done. Give yourself a round of applause. Great effort there. Thank you for watching. Please now go off to a good cool down, stretch off, static stretching, bit of maintenance and developmental stretching. Okay, please, please stretch off. Plenty of water throughout the rest of the day. Eat well, nice balanced diet, and I will catch you in the future videos. Click that subscribe button now, add a notifications bell. So, I'll see you soon.